Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Kazoo Fridays, and welcome back to the workshop for another DIY project today. And you know, Kazoo Fridays now, this is episode 10 of Kazoo Fridays, and I built a playlist so that they're all in one place so that you can check them out if you haven't seen the other episodes. But um, if you've been watching, you know that I originally thought I was only gonna do five episodes and we're already up to 10. So I'm not sure how much longer it'll go, but hey, until I run out of ideas, I guess. But if you happen to watch them, you remember back in episode two, I made this. This is a DIY electric kazoo made from one of the cheap uh, Chinese 80 cent kazoos that you get off of uh, Amazon. And uh, we made one of these and it was actually really fun. And then if you remember back in episode six, I unboxed a bunch of these, these jumbo kazoos, and you can see the size difference here. They are definitely jumbo kazoos, significantly larger than these. Um, and I had mentioned during that video that, you know, you could probably make one of these electric because they're a lot larger. It gives you a little more room to work with. That's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna make an electric jumbo kazoo. Wow. So for starters, you're gonna need a couple of parts. And if you remember the video when we made this one, we used an eighth inch jack there because this was so small, we didn't really have room for a quarter inch jack. But with this bigger kazoo, I think we can get a quarter inch jack in there. So that's the first thing that you need is a quarter inch jack. And then you're also gonna need a couple pieces of wire like this. Doesn't really matter what colors, but a couple pieces of wire to wire up your piezo disc. And this is a 35 millimeter piezo disc where we used a 20 millimeter last time. Now you might notice there are leads on this piezo. And so you're probably thinking, why does he need those pieces of wire? Well, I'm actually gonna end up cutting these leads off and it'll make more sense when you get into the build part. But uh, these leads just aren't gonna work for what we're gonna do. So you're gonna need a couple pieces of wire. So that said, if you can get a 35 without the leads, that's gonna be fine too. So there you go. Now, now let's talk about what tools we're gonna need to do this. So first of all, you're gonna need some drill bits. Make sure you've got your drill bits handy. handy. And of course, that means you're gonna need a drill. Next thing, you're gonna need some solder to solder those electric connections. And of course, that means you're gonna need a soldering iron. And then you're also gonna need, oh, don't fall. We're also gonna need a file like this one, just an average ordinary file. You could probably use an X-Acto knife if you don't have a file, but this is gonna, just gonna be used for one step. Again, this will make more sense when we get into the build process. And finally, you're gonna need some super glue, just like the cheap stuff you buy at the grocery store, or the drugstore, or whatever. That's what I'm using today. That's pretty much the tools that we need other than our rusty trusty hot glue gun to insulate that piezo. So, you got the tools, you got the parts, let's do this.
Okay, so there we have it, folks. The electric jumbo kazoo is finished. And if you look here, a couple things to point out. If you look at it from the side here, I put the jack just ahead of where the reed's at. And the reason I did that is, I, you know, you could probably put it back here or on the top or whatever, but I didn't want the jack to be before the air gets to the reed because that jack is definitely gonna let some air escape. And you wanna get a lot of air, you know, behind that reed. So I wanted to make sure it was in front of the reed. I suppose you could put it closer to up here or whatever, but you just need to make sure you've got enough room for your jack to clear. So I thought this was a, a good compromise. Draw a little hole there to route those wires through. They just go straight up to the piezo, which covers the top and of course, the hole in the side lets the air out so that uh, reed can vibrate and the piezo can then amplify it. Um, so there you go, pretty straightforward, pretty simple project. Only takes a few minutes in the workshop, drill three holes through the kazoo and a couple solder points and you are rocking. So I guess there's one thing left to do. We're gonna have to plug this baby in.